So this is the original model. Uh, so if you want to follow along, you can download this uh, file in the video description. So uh, you can see uh, this model have uh, a very basic uh, fillet in the front, uh, but in the back we have a little bit more complex. <clears throat> but um, in these corners, um, we have we also have uh, some small fillet in here, so that we create a nice a nice flow. That's why when I create a fillet, for example, I select in this edge and create a fillet with the radius is three. You can see the fillet will go around the model. And if I go back to the fillet and I go to here and I, you can see this edge is the edge uh, 33. And if I want this edge to have the fillet is 17, I double click on it and I type in here 17 and then I click OK. You can see I cannot fillet this edge 17. So in this video, I will show you um, how I create a few left uh, in the front of this model with the radius is 17. Uh, also 17 in here, but uh, slowly, eventually um, decrease down to 3 in here. We have two radius fillet in here. Okay, so I start. Um, first, I will uh, select in this edge and create a fillet. In the product workbench, I will create a fillet with the radius is 3. And I will use the fillet in this area, but I will remove the front part. So the next step is I want to turn this fillet into a cell. So a cell is uh, exactly the same with the solid, but inside is empty, nothing inside, just a surface outside. To create a cell, I go to Prod and Shape Builder and Cell Form Faces, Box Selection, select this one and create Close. Now I have a cell. If I hide the solid, the fillet, you can see the cell is exactly the same with the solid. But uh, later, if I cut that, nothing inside. Uh, the next step is I want to create a circle with the radius is 3. And a circle in here, bigger, the, ra the radius will be 17. The same radius in here, 17. And I will use the sweep tool to sweep along this edge, the middle edge. And create a cut and then fill in the middle. So to do that, I need to show the original line. So let me hide the cell for a second. And I drop this one down and show the, the original one. Okay, now I have these edges. So I will start from here. I will create a circle in here. Control selecting this edge and then this point and creating a sketch and choose normal shoe edge. Okay. Okay, now I close. I create a circle in the middle and set the you can see right here is the diameter. So uh, the diameter will be three multiply two enter so that the diameter will be six and it close then it comes to here control selecting this edge and then this point and then create a sketch normal to edge circle right in the center the diameter 17 multiply so 34 then a close and another one in here control selecting this edge and then this point 
Brighton is get. Normal to edge. Okay. And then creating another circle. 17 multiply 2. 54. Close. Okay. Now I will create a sweep. So I go to the sweep. Start from here. Okay. These three circles. And I click on sweep part. And uh, select in this edge and in this edge. And then I hit done. And create solid. Click OK. Okay. Now we have something like this. Uh, now I will uh, generate the mirror. So I click on the sweep and go to the mirror. Mirror this one in the YZ plan. Now we have another one in the left. Uh, so now how do we get the middle geometry? So I go to the curve bench. And the curve workbench, uh, because this one and this one is actually the same. And if we go to the top view, all I need to do is a symbol connect from here to here, a straight line here. Okay, so I will use the tool, um, blend solid in here. This will work fine in this case. So I will control select in this, uh, this face, this face and blend solid click on it and in the default setting the blend solid have the G2 continuity so I just want C0 so type in here 0 and 0 now we have a stray geometry in here okay now I will hide the original one hide this one and I show the cell which is the empty inside. Now I can draw select in the cell and the sweep and go into the part of bench and I will cut it. Doing the same, control select in this one and this one and cut. This one and this one, cut. Okay. Now we can uh, control select in all of these circles and hide it. Okay, now uh, we will fill the surface in the middle. So in here, so I will create a line that is um, parallel with this line. Okay, so this new line will parallel with this line. And I will use this line to extrude in this direction and then I will generate a new uh, line on this surface. And I will use this new line to generate the blend curve in between. So I will create a new sketch in the front. Okay, and I will reference this line here. Okay. Because this line already vertical, so uh, I will create another line and make sure this line have the vertical constraint on it. I select in this point and then this line and I hit C, okay, to add the coincident constraint. And make sure um, the line in this position that go over the, the surface, but uh, so somewhere around here is fine. Okay, we have something like this. Now I see, now I select in this cat and go to is true. Is true this one in the y axis. Something like fifty. Okay. Now I can draw select in the cut and the is true and go to the part split and slide to compile. Now we have this edge. Okay. Doing the same in here, creating a new sketch in the right view. 
and I will reference this slide and I will view the session. I create another line somewhere up here and this one have the vertical constraint on it. Selecting this point and this line and hit C to snap it. Then I close. Right. Now I can install this one to the X axis and let's try 50. And then I can do selecting this one and the is true. And you go to the part, split and slide to compile. Okay. Now it's time to create in plane curve. I go to the curve bent. Oh, sorry, the surface. And control selecting this edge and this edge. So selecting this edge first. So this one will be the first edge. Then I create in a plane curve. I click on the plane curve and again zero out star size and the end size and I put one for the star size one not good so negative one and size will be one okay come to here I'm just selecting this edge and then this edge and plane curve click on this edge zero out the star size and the end size put one for the end the star size one not good so we go negative one and end size will be one okay so come to here so i will uh, select in this plane curve and i want to is through this uh, plane curve to the left So that I will have a new is true. I will use this uh I will use this new is true to control the tangency for this surface. Okay. Now I select in the plane curve and go to the product bench and is true this one to the left, which is the negative one for the y axis. Click OK. And I will call this one. side face and I hide the side face and I drop the, this one down and show the plane curve now I click on the plane curve this one and I issue this one to the right which is the positive one for the y axis and I click OK OK and also issue this one to the left negative one for the s axis font phase one font phase two okay now it's time to fill the surface I go to the surface again and click on the filling and start to fill the surface in here. Selecting the edge, the face, and set the G1 continuity. OK. Now I can hide the uh, front uh, one and front two and hide the surface also. Come to here and let me show the uh, side face and I feel the surface. Okay. Now I can select in each edge, select in the face and set the G1 for that. Okay. All right. Now I can hide this uh, face. 
And let me show the surface in here. Okay. Now I can select uh, these two. Go to the Prod Workbench and Mirror in the YZ plan. Hit OK. And instead using the slide 001, I will hide this. And I will go inside the slide 001 is the slice. I drop the slide down and show the cut 002. Okay, so you can see um, in here, I have a straight line here and another straight line in here. So all I need to do is uh, generate a rule surface in between because in the between we have two straight lines. So I can do selecting this edge and then this edge and rule surface. Now in the T view, I drop the mirror down. Drop the rule surface down. Okay. I can control selecting the cut, the mirror, the surface, zero, zero, 001, the rule surface, mirror of the surface and the surface. Okay. Make sure everything is selected. And I go to the curve workbench and parametric solid. Okay. So this is a way to create a fillet with uh, the large radius in front and the small radius in the back. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and thanks for watching and see you in the next video.